Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you my sketch slash concept for a painting that I will be doing as part of a series for an event called Game of Shrooms. Game of Shrooms is a worldwide mushroom themed art scavenger hunt. God, that was a mouthful. And basically on June 11th, artists worldwide will be hiding their artwork and posting about it on social media for other people to find. And it's all mushroom themed, so it's pretty cool. Check it out. I want to do a lot of different paintings for this. At first, I was just going to be doing paintings of mushrooms themselves. Kind of similar composition to this previous painting I did in the past. But something in me wanted to also include trash babies. So like raccoons, possums, skunks. I don't know. I think they're underrated and I just had this idea that I just wanted to incorporate them with my mushroom paintings so I'll be doing three animal mushroom paintings and then the rest will be just the mushrooms themselves with little creatures around them this one is of a raccoon as you can see and the whole idea of it was I wanted to somehow incorporate gouache with my ballpoint ink drawing style. Lately I've been really trying to incorporate two mediums that I really love. The past couple years, I would say year or two, I've been really trying to combine these two together in all of my pieces. So that was definitely tricky, but ultimately I came to this kind of art formula in my head where the main subject matter in the center could be made of gouache, so it would be painted in color. And then any floral framing around the illustration will be done in black ballpoint ink or whatever color ink I decide to do. For this raccoon one, I decided to frame the whole thing with poppies and poppy leaves, poppy buds. I just love poppies. If you have seen any of my other work, you will know that because they're in a lot of my paintings. That and roses. I do want to incorporate other flowers in um, like the possum painting I'm going to do and the skunk one. But for now, I just stuck with poppies because I like them. I don't know. And I do plan on these just being done in black ballpoint, honestly. I'm actually really excited to start using ballpoint ink again because, oh my god, this changed my whole life. Someone commented on one of my older YouTube videos, probably from like 2020 or something like that. I was complaining in that video about how I bought these ballpoint pens that were like archival ink grade so that I could use ballpoint ink for fine art without it fading or whatever. Someone commented, you could just varnish it with uv resistant varnish and that'll do the trick i do that all the time with my ballpoint drawings which i've been wondering because i've seen so many gallery artists doing ballpoint artwork and i'm just like how do you preserve it and now i know and this has changed my whole life i don't think you understand <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much um, to the person that commented that, you have helped me so much. Thank you. <laughs> now, okay, side note. You see the butterfly here? I really want the raccoon's third eye, alright, to be glowing. And I can't decide if I want the butterfly to be in color or also in black ballpoint ink. Because it kind of goes with the floral frame but it's kind of interesting the way i made this composition to me it feels like the butterfly kind of bridges the center subject matter the raccoon with the frame so i feel like i could almost use ballpoint and gouache to kind of bridge the two together if that makes sense it kind of makes like a connection i guess I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but in my head, I like to think of the ballpoint ink and the gouache being two separate realms or dimensions merging together, if that makes sense. I actually have another mushroom painting 
with a skeleton fairy that I never finished, by the way, where I kind of explained this concept further if you're interested. So my plan for this sketch is I'm going to be transferring it onto illustration board. That way I can have an exact transfer of this drawing I made and I can just paint it traditionally. This is how it turned out and I'm so happy. Um, the next video will probably be my angel painting I've been working on, but I do plan on continuing to show you guys the full process on this whole Game of Shrooms thing and I will make a separate playlist for this series. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye!